experiential engineering is to do with the fact that for lots of products and environments, how successful they are can come down to people, uh, how well they subjectively and emotionally respond to them and how they all are different in the way they use them. What we're interested in is trying to learn about that, to be able to predict that and hopefully help designers and engineers produce better products and environments as a result of our understanding. We started a number of years ago where we were interested in the, uh, the sound character of vehicles. We recognised that for lots of people if they put their foot down to accelerate in a car, maybe they don't want silence, which raised the challenge how do you then design the sound of the car based on people's emotional response? Because we're moving towards cars that have got electric drivetrain capability. And they're interesting because at low speeds they're very quiet. Alvin is a demonstrator that's been created between ourselves and our partners Novacin. So the sounds that we evaluate in our listening room and in our sound room can then immediately be tried out for real on the road, adapted to have any sound character we like. Very, very soon there'll be a legal requirement for vehicles to actually create a sound at low speed to be a warning for other road users. But at the same time, we don't want to lose all the benefits of reduced traffic noise. And we know that the uh, manufacturers will be concerned about what the sound of the car is saying about their brand and the quality of their vehicle. The sound room gives us a way to be able to evaluate um, both soundscapes but also electric vehicles actually while they're out on the road and running around. Um, so it gives us a, an interactive simulation environment to be able to experience those cars. We're looking very much around the principle of how we include end users in the design of our environments. So for instance, how to actively involve clinicians and patients. We can maybe try to use sound uh, to the benefit of patients and clinicians in the design of their own environments. And we know that this can have an effect both on the recovery rates of the patients, but also how well the clinicians work as well. As well as how people emotionally respond to products, we're interested in the varying ways they can use them. So if you think about your car, um, how you drive it is one of the biggest influences on the fuel economy. So we're trying to learn more about naturalistic driver behaviour so that we can optimise the car's performance for all circumstances in the real world. Within our new International Institute of Products and Service Innovation, we've got the opportunity to work with a number of small companies, especially in the West Midlands, around this research. We're calling it experience-led innovation, uh, and hopefully that will reflect the variety of different work streams we'll have in that programme. And really, we just like working with our industry partners and solving real-world challenges. We're not expert in everything, but we hope that we can complement the skills within our partners uh, and deliver some real innovation for them.